Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to recover permanently deleted photos and videos on iOS devices for free. This will allow you to recover any photo or video, even if it's been deleted for more than 30 days. You will also not need any computer for this trick. The way it works is simple. We will use this app here called Photos Recovery. As you can see, it allows me to click Recover, and it's finding all of my deleted photos and videos, even the permanently deleted ones. And boom, it found all of them and recovered it fully. So it works perfectly. Let me show you all how to get it. Right, so now that I showed you guys the app and that it works, I will now show you guys all how to download the app onto your iOS or Android device very easily and fast. But before I show you guys how to install it, if you're on iOS or a iPhone device, we have to change some settings in our phone really quick before you can download it. If you're on Android, you don't have to change any settings. Only iOS devices have to make the changes. So first, go into your battery settings and make sure low power mode is turned off. This is very important and can mess up the install if you leave it on. After we get the app, you can revert all your settings back to normal, so don't worry, it's just for the install. Then after you guys turn off low power mode, go into general settings then find background app refresh option and make sure you have it turned on to Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. It cannot be off. If it's off, it can also mess up the install. Okay, anyways guys, we are all good to go and now ready to get our app installed. So what you guys have to do is very simple. On your iOS or Android device, go to this website called PluginSurf.com. This site has a bunch of tweaked apps and games that we can download for free without needing a jailbreak or anything complicated. So once you're on the site, go to the search bar on the site and type Photos Recovery. Now tap the app and then click the button that says Start Installation on the pop-up. Now you will have to wait for this to load. It usually is fast and will load under 30 seconds usually. Then once it loads, there will be one last step we must do in order to finish installing our app fully onto our iOS or Android device for free. So you will see something like this pop up. So before you can use the full app, you will have to complete two plugins from the list. Basically for the app to fully run and load, it needs this and it is required for the app to work. But it's simple. You just tap the app or plugin and read the instructions and do exactly as it says. Then once you've done one, you go back and do one more because you have to do two for it to count. They're really easy, and most of the time you just have to play a game and get to a certain level. Like this Travel Town one, you just have to get to level 9. It's a really fun game and it's pretty fast to do. And also you might see like this Dice Dreams one as well. You just download the app, get to Kingdom 6, and that one also counts as another one. Usually you should see these two, do them as they are easy and fun, but make sure to fully play the games, it's very important that you do so. But whatever plugin file you choose, just make sure you do exactly as the instructions say and do two of them and all of these apps or plugins are completely safe. They just take you to the App Store or Google Play Store so everything here is completely verified and not from random shady sites. Just so you guys know this is safe to do. Also guys, if your apps or plugin files look different than mine, like they're different apps or whatever, that's fine as well. It sometimes changes depending on like your location and stuff. But once you complete the instructions of two of them, then it will pop up that the app is now installing exactly like this. As you can see, it's saying I successfully did two plugin files, and now it's saying it's going to finish downloading the full plugin file to my phone, which is great news. Also, if you don't see this, it might say error, and it might ask you to redo it, and in that case, you will have to do another two plugin files that are completely different to the ones you did. So make sure you do everything correctly. If you're on Android, you just do the exact same process and it will be the exact same way to install the plugin. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.